Good morning and uh, it's a new day. Today I'm going to speak on the topic fruits of the spirit. I want to remind you and in fact we have to keep reminding ourselves that our life should exhibit the fruits of the Holy Spirit. That is the output of our Christian faith. If I have faith in God, if I believe in God, if I love God, if I if I honor God, the what should be the next thing is your action. How are you in action? You know, I can think good things about God, but when I talk or when I speak some words out of my mouth, is it good? Is it uh, good for people? Is it uh, too much of criticism that hurts people? Does my mouth open and offend people? We should not do that. We should exhibit the fruit of the Spirit. Galatians chapter 5 verse 22 says, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Amen. All these uh, traits, personal traits of our of every Christian is mentioned over here. We need to have these traits. I can't have the fruits uh, sometimes on uh, Tuesday and then I'll do it next week on Friday. No, the fruits have to be exhibited every day, dear friends. So what happens when you buy oranges, you buy a lemon, you buy any fruits, you always get the aromatic fragrances of those fruits. When you want to know whether I am fruitful, whether I have these fruits of the Holy Spirit. So what is what's going to happen? The people around you will get the aromatic fragrance. Wow. The people around you will feel good when they come, when they meet you, when they talk to you. The people around you will feel peaceful when they talk to you. The people around you will feel good and happy when they talk to you. And today I want to encourage you that God wants us to be fruitful. Jesus says every tree will be known by its fruits. So whenever we read the word of God, Bible always says, be not hearers of the word of God, but be the doers of God's word. When you are meditating God's word every day, that is the action of your belief. That is the transformation from your thinking to your acting. We got to pray every day. That's the action. So when you spend time in the presence of God, when you read God's word, when you meditate God's word, when you act upon the word of God, what will happen? It will give you the strength to make sure that your life is a life full of fruits. We have to be fruitful every season. See, some of the fruits I like to talk about is love, joy, peace, long-suffering and many more. There are nine fruits that I read earlier. Love, let's give an example of love as a fruit. So if I have to display this fruit, in other words, I have to love. I have to show love, not only talk love, but I have to apply love. How do I do that? First, I have to love the Lord, my God. I have to love him with all my heart with all my soul, with all my strength. And then I have to love thy neighbor as thyself. What kind of love is this? It is an unconditional love that God sent his son, an unconditional love for us. In the same way, if people hurt you, you must forgive them because you must display love. If somebody hates you and you know it, display love. That is the correct sign if you are fruitful or you are not fruitful. You may be reading a lot of word of God, meditating, or you must be doing some good works, charity works. But what is the use if you have still hate in you? We have to love one another. In the same way is all the fruit of the Spirit, gentleness, self-control. We must have those traits in our lives, dear friends. And how you must do it? Ask the Holy Spirit to help you, to strengthen you. May I pray for you? Father, I pray and thank you for every single person watching. Lord, remind us to be fruitful in the Spirit. 
it's not enough for us to only talk about your goodness but we also want to walk the talk lord may your fruits always be exhibited in all in our lives in jesus name we make this prayer